will achieve very good effects. Um, the, I love the Bruce effect because it's really fast to do. Uh, it's easy, you can say it's easy. And it gives a really cool effect. You can, you can play pranks on people or whatever. You know what? Or if you want to sue your, your husband or your wife, like, she hits me. <laughs> Actually, I think it would be better if you can teach us how to hide them. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Okay. okay, so my model got me here. Is going, uh, I'm going to uh, create a bruise on her uh, since she was slapped. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, something like that. You know, you know how they. Well, there, there is an ugly name for this kind of slap. There is another name, but it, let's Beach. call it slap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So first, I'm. Um, what? Well, uh, actually, this. Uh, can be achieved also by only using your fingers. You don't need, you don't necessarily need a brush or a sponge or stuff like that. Um, maybe if, if you have a party tonight, you can use this also for for zombie makeup. Yeah. Also for zombie makeup, you can use it. So I'm just tapping my finger here, and I get a little red color on my finger. And what I do? Oh. <laughs> Uh, let's say let's say the the main hit. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the main the main uh, point of the face where where the hit was uh, stroke on was on, on this part right on, on the bone. So that part has to keep uh, has has to be kept uh, untouched. Uh -huh. As a, as you can see, I don't put red in there. Uh -huh. I just I just uh, leave it like that, and this creates a, a swollen effect. You know what is uh, when something is swollen? Yeah, swollen. No. Yeah, swollen. Uh, when you hit your your forehead against the wall, you, uh, you, it creates like a bump that is swollen. Uh huh. Swollen is when something grows. Yeah. So in this case, as you can see, I'm just fading. I'm just fading the color, so it doesn't look like uh, like like paint on the face. It has to be natural. So I just fade the color out, and it looks a little more natural, as you can see. Very easy. Um, the trick is not to not to do it as a brush. But do like tapping, like stippling with uh, with the finger or whatever you're using. <coughs> then I take a little blue. Do you know about color combinations? Yeah. 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 What color do we obtain? So I put some spots. Mm -hmm. The the places where the hit is stronger and it gets more damage is where it, where you are going to put the uh, the blue. Where why? Because in those parts the blood is actually dead. Uh -huh. It it goes it rushes in there and it dies. So it's a necrotic blood in that moment. Uh -huh. So that's why it becomes purple. So. Probably the uh, hardest hit is over here and over here. So I just fade out the color. The good thing about it, about me using my fingers is that I only need three fingers for this. <laughs> and I can. If I need, always what you say, I can see that. And if I need if I need blue, I put blue, and then if, it's like a palette. If I need more red, I just change finger and use my red. Okay. So. <laughs> Do you see that effect that I'm achieving? Certainly.
You can use yellow. This yellow is actually pretty much the same that you get in the, in the supermarket. Uh, you you will probably you will want to go easy on the yellow because it's really creamy. It's really creamy and it can look like this, and that will ruin the makeup. Uh, you just have a just need a, a very thin layer, and the yellow goes around everything. Um, as you can see, it, it marks this spot just like that. But when you fade it out, it looks. It just gives the uh, the flesh a little yellow tone, even though you can barely see it. But it but it gives it a very uh, good realism to the makeup. Okay. I put like like that. It looks artificial, I know, and then. I just fade it out. Maybe a little more over here. And there you go. That's it. If you want to take a picture, go ahead.